pretty windy morning. I am on, I think it's called Low Divide Road. And I can't believe it's a county road. It's here in Del Norte County, Northern California. And you catch it outside of the town of Smith River. It basically follows uh, this high ridge and it goes in between this open and uh, dense forest before descending all the way down to the North Fork of the Smith River and it actually keeps on going but this is kind of a re remote uh, part of the county. Anyway, I'm on the high divide itself and you can see out towards uh, the Pacific Ocean there. It's kind of hard to see where it is on the horizon because it meshes in with the haze. And normally, like yesterday, it was very windy, but the wind was coming from the coast. But today it seems to be coming from the east. And I suspect it's because of that edge of a fog inversion. Which is gonna suck because I'm trying to get the hole in the ground mine. And most of my road, it's a four wheel drive road, is all on this slope. So I'm gonna be facing all this brutality. Okay, so this is the road that I want for the mine. It actually parallels the road where I parked. And I'm just on the other side of this hill. A little less windy down here but I basically just kind of bushwhacked through all the plants here and saved me maybe about two tenths of a mile rather than parking at where this road begins. And it just keeps going downhill. Pretty rough road so there's no way, it looks pretty narrow as well, no way I could have made it by car. may have all been part of the biscuit fire burn almost 20 years ago now. I'm getting to the part of the road where it's getting pretty obvious that no vehicles have been on it in a long time. There's a section I just passed that was pretty gouged out by runoff and overgrown with a lot of these low shrubs. No topsoil anymore, so it's just kind of getting replaced by nature. I do believe that is our first glimpse of the hole in the ground mine. I don't know if you see any added openings at the moment. But you can see where the hillside has been scarred. Looks like I go through a little bit of woods. It's hard to believe. That's where I came from. It's hard to believe that uh, I'm so close to the ocean and yet it's this dry. Now granted a lot of it is because of all the peridotite rock which really only caters to a certain type of flora. Mostly Jeffrey pines and other hardy trees that can handle its particular soil. I don't know if it's more acidic or or has more magnesium, I thought I heard. But looks like on this side it's a little bit more lush. I was wonder, wondering if I would see any of these on my trip here. These are the California pitcher plants, also known as cobra lilies. And they always grow in this red peridotite setting. And they always need a seasonal source of spring water, which it looks like there's some coming right out of this hillside. I don't know if they uh, have kind of a dying period and come back to life later on in the year. These ones don't look ripe green at the moment. Here we are looking at what's left of the hole in the ground mine. So 
I crossed a little stream and the road really peters out, but I'm here at the mine. A lot of old relics. It's nice because I'm sheltered out of the wind now. Got a little cedar tree growing out of the side here. So there is a, a nearby mine called Copper Creek Mine. I'm not sure what they're mining here, because it is right in the midst of uh, all this serpentine and peridotite. They could have been mining for chromium, chromite. And at the moment, I don't really see any mine opening. All right, I did manage to find the opening to one of the two adits indicated on the map. It is incredibly uh, tiny, though, and it's pretty much covered over by this decaying hillside. I have no interest in really going down it. All this could just give away at any moment. It looks like they got their material here. And honestly, I didn't see this before, but you could see a stream kind of percolating out of the out of the side there. So usually a stream means that the cave, the mine has some depth to it, and there's a lot of break through the uh, the ceiling where groundwater can get through. It's a Goodyear tire, Goodyear balloon. And I believe the other adit would have been right here. It looks like it's long caved in. And there's this old rusted pipe that still seems to be working well at flowing water out. So now I'm exploring the uh, upper part of the mining area. Not really a lot of relics up here. And I believe I'm at the true top here. Just some more excavations. Nothing really flooring to see. But it appears that they just did a lot of upper side excavations. I'm not sure what they were looking for. I don't really see any anything that stands out. It may have just been a chrome mine, honestly, because I don't see any residue indicating that it was copper. All right, where the two mining roads split off different parts of the area. Some sort of machinery, I guess. And then we're back. I had to cross this earlier across this nice little creek and start meandering the thousand feet back up the mountain. Back at the huge patch of cobra lilies. And they just dangle right off the edge there. Back at the car, it's still quite windy. But it actually feels nice now. It's not cold. And I'm back on the ridge, so here's a... You can see the ocean a lot better. Made a quick stop to the mouth of the Smith River. Now it's really windy coming from the ocean. It's coming from the west now. Got some huge waves. 
a little bit hazy, you can't really see too far out. It's a long spit of sand. There's always sea lions. you lift up these rocks and you see a lot of these little sea bugs. I wonder if these are what you would call modern trilobites. I just lifted this rock and there was a whole bunch of them underneath. That's pretty. And here's a dead one. Looks just like a pill bug. <laughs> 